Hello and welcome to the first session of a series of sessions or demos for recruiting management. In this session we will talk about how to create a requisition. My name is Chris Wilpert, I'm a HEM Success Vectors Consultant for Ipercon Limited in London. I won't go in every detail of implementation decision or feature. Let's start. Um, to go into recruiting. I should also mention that I'm logged in as Jane, who is an admin, but I'm proxied as Tessa Walker, who is a recruiter. That's because later on I need to proxy into different roles. Here I'm into uh, in, in recruiting overview uh, from a recruiter, so I see here a kind of talent pipeline, how many new applicants um, how many requisition and so on. I also see a list here of different requisitions I'm responsible for as a recruiter and we want to create a new requisition. I click here, create new. As you can see here, we have two templates, a simply job requisition and standard job requisition. You can have like, like one, for example, for students and one for um, employees. The difference is that you have different fields in, in there probably different functions uh, or features as, as you like. We go for the standard job requisition and we can decide here if we want to copy an existing job requisition, browse family and roles where we can um, define like kind of, yeah, kind of roles uh, with pre-defined content or we just create a um, job requisition from blank which we want to do. I go for Demo test, approval days, today hiring managers one, and I'm the recruiter, so I'm responsible for this requisition. That's the first view, that's basically the requisition with a lot of different fields. But first of all, I want to talk about um, the roadmap, which um, is the roadmap to, or the workflow, how you can approve a requisition. So here you can see we are in the creation um, requisition step and then the hiring manager needs to approve this requisition and the recruiting team um, afterwards. And then uh, the requisition is complete and can be published. Um, well, we will go through the, the workflows um, at the end. So we have different fields. Um, this is a combination of uh, standard fields and custom fields. So everything you can see, you, you probably can amend to your wishes here. So I don't want to go into detail in, in all of the fields. Like obviously there are some um, required fields with, with a star. I just have to um, fill in now without big um, comments. Um, like as we come here for, for the job details, I want to talk a bit more about the job roles because we have a second tab here that's a feature like job roles and families um, where we can define roles and have pre-defined content for them. So for example here I go in human resource family and I just have one role here, it's a HR professional role and as you can see here, this role has a job descriptions, responsibilities, a summary, competencies, skills, education, and interview questions already predefined. So it really helps in defining and have a clear structure of um, your roles in your company. And it makes it easier to write down uh, requisitions because, yeah, everything is, is in already. You also can add some custom sections here if you want. Um, so as we define it here, it should show up in our requisition as well, just that you see the code. Oh, that was not saved yet. That's a pity. Okay, you can see it's, it's Predefine or like pre-populated um, the things I couldn't amend before. Job function is human resource. I 
I just fill the things in I have a star for at the moment as, as I said you can define what kind of fields you want to have in your requisition um, yes of course I want to have me as a recruiter and hiring manager I could add here or add a team who, who um, I'll leave their internal job descriptions blank for now question is an important part because these are questions which are shown the candidate and he, so he should answer the question and you can have ratings against that so are you over 18 uh, are you open to relocate I can add these questions you can have a catalog of questions or create them by yourself these are multiple question multiple choice questions I won't both have them required and disqualifier um, like this checkbox like if they answered wrong um, you can disqualify a candidate and automatically like send like an email like three or seven days later that uh, he didn't made it so required score is 100 because both are required both have to wait 50 and obviously I, I both want uh, a yes and also um, an important point is to to have um, skills like competencies because these are the competencies later on um, hiring managers managers or recruiters rate a candidate if you want to rate a candidate as you wish and that's it so far um, everything filled for the requisition hope so so everything was successful I see the next person this uh, in this verb pro is G Lu um, who is a hiring manager and should approve um, that requisition I go to create requisition or click the button create requisition now we proxy in um, G Lu who has to approve this requisition again this is a feature just for admins to quickly change to users um, here in the home page of um, GLU I also see there is one recruiting approval this is the new name of, of the requisition and here that's our requisition and here you already see you don't have as much fields visible as for the recruiter um, that has a purpose so he just should see their uh, relevant fields for him um, and as for now I just approve along the um, roadmap um, luckily Tessa Walker is in the team recruiting so could also happen that other employees or recruiters are in the team just to have the last review also here we see in the to-do box one last approval step uh, here we go we are in the third step now and after this step is just complete we just can review any kind of changes from the hiring managers if everything is all right here and then we can complete it complete um, that's it so now we we just w gonna post this job um, on any kind of platforms we want to have this um, requisition shown so we, we choose uh, the date from today and we want to show it on the internal carrier pa um, page and on the external page and if you have kind of job boards or work with agency you can you can post it there as well that's it not not a huge deal um, but I hope you, you get the idea the process and the look and feel of the first kind of step in this series how to create a requisition and how to publish them just to recap we have a requisition template with different standard and custom fields we can copy um, other requisition or create something from scratch and 
then we have a workflow depending on who should approve this requisition and we publish it. Uh, thanks for your attention and if you want to see more of the recruiting process, have a look at the next video. Okay, bye.